Okay, so I've basically got this all sanded nice and uh, we can start marking out um, you know, the location of the pickups, the location of the bridge and whatnot. And we're going to start with the location of the bridge uh, just because that, that has to be exact. I mean, uh, it's all relative to um, what fret scale uh, you've actually built here. We've built a 25 and a half inch fret scale and um, in order to determine the positioning of the bridge um, you know in accordance with your fret scale um, you just go to Google uh, type in fret scale calculator and uh, you'll find a bunch of them out there um, you know it'll give you the positioning of uh, it, the exact location of all of your frets in the scale plus it will give you um, positioning of the bridge and uh, you know different types of bridge have uh, different spacing or whatever different um, a different location that they're put at but um, we're using the Floyd Rose original so I looked up the specs on that and for a 25 and a half inch fret scale um, the center of the posts for mounting the uh, bridge have to be exactly 25 inches from the nut so we're going to take our, our uh, take our longest ruler that we got and it looks like when we're up against the nut we're at exactly 20 and a half okay so we want to measure another four and a half inches off of here okay so I guess there four and a half that should give us the location of our bridge we're going to do the same down here I just want to be sure that it's the same it should be yes it is okay Get rid of that piece of card on there. And from there we want to measure four and a half as well. Okay, we'll join, join these two together and that's gonna give us our location there. I guess it doesn't have to be that long, but you know. Okay, so now we need to figure out the spacing on our um, for our posts. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a grab our bridge and take a couple measurements from it, and um, we'll figure out the spacing for our bolts. Okay, so we've got the bridge here, and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to stick this ruler right here. Uh, looks like we're looking at about three and three eighths spacing. Yeah, I'm going to say three and three eighths. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to split that in half. We need to measure out from the center line here, which is right here. Okay, so three and three eighths, which means we want it to be inch and eleven sixteenths, I believe. So we'll go inch and. And 11 sixteenths, it's right there, and measure it from here as well. Okay, that looks like it's going to be where our posts are located for our bridge. We're just going to set it on there and uh, line up the center with the center. Just make sure everything looks like it's kosher here. Looking good. Okay, so now that we got that marked, we can measure off of there and uh, measure the location of our pickups. And I've made up a couple templates here because I, I, did, I do have uh, templates for six string pickups. I didn't have ones for seven strings, so I had to actually make these ones up out of my six string ones. So I would route the entire thing um, and then I'd move the template down to, uh, you know, to get my actual extra width that I need for that extra string. So I've done that. Um, one thing I didn't do is I didn't mark the center location on here, so I got to do that. We'll do that right now. And we're just going to measure from side to side here and then divide that in half. There, there's our center line for that. So that we know when we line this up. It's got to be 
centered like so. Okay, so um, we already know that uh, this one is going right up against the uh, the neck here, so we're not going to bother laying that out. We're just going to pop that in place once we get um, once we get to that stage. And there's a little bit of an extra step we got to do for that one too uh, in order to step this up, so it's um, you know so this neck isn't interfering with it. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over to our plans. We're going to take a measurement off of uh, the post here on the um, on the bridge, and then uh, we'll measure back to there to see where uh, where our recess is going to be located for this. Okay, so we've taken our measurement and we uh, we came up with three eighths of an inch from this line here. So we'll make a mark here at three eighths, and another one up here at three eighths. Join them. Together, okay. And that line is going to signify where we got to place this. So I'll just trace this out on here, just so you get an idea of exactly where we're going to be here. Okay, we're looking good there. So I'll just trace this out, so you can get an idea of where we're going to be here. It'll be easier to uh, set up the template when we actually go to attach it to the body here too. Later, if we just do this, trace the entire thing. Okay, so that's what we're looking at, and you can see how close this, uh, or how close the neck comes to this pickup here. Uh, that's because of the 27th fret. Uh, the extra three frets obviously um, but that is the main reason why we're going with a single coil here because by the time you put another humbucker here I mean you're gonna end up with you know a space about a half inch big between the you know this wouldn't even really be a, a neck pickup um, at that point it would pretty much be acting more of a as a middle pickup that's why we went with the single coil you know it'll still pick up that nice uh, you know kind of bassy richness that's you know um, that uh, a neck pickup is known for. Uh, it won't be as bassy type of deal, but it will also we'll, we'll just be able to get this one pickup as close to you know this base position as possible in the neck here. So now we're looking at more. You know we'll have more of a gap of about an inch and a half between the two here. And I mean it's just it, you know it's generally the same. It'd, it'd be the front coil for the the. Um, for the humbucker would be in the same position as this would be but this back coil really wouldn't be you know it really wouldn't be doing it any justice I don't think you'd get virtually almost uh, you know a little bit of a different tone than you would on the front coil of this one but not a whole lot so that's why we're going with a single coil and when you see most 27 fret guitars you'll see that they have a single coil in that neck position for that reason uh, just to kind of keep it up uh, you know you know, just to have different separation here because you want it, you want these two pickups to sound you know virtually different. And the fact that it's a single coil versus a double, you know, then you're going to get that different variation of uh, tone as well. All right, enough babbling. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to set up to uh, start routing these out. Uh, this is pretty much all we need to do here. Um, I got a little bit more work I got to do here, but we're, we're going to route for the pickups first, and then we'll route for the bridge second. Uh, we just needed to locate the bridge in order to locate where we're going to put the pickups. So we're going to get going on that, and um, we need to go half inch deep, I believe. I'm just going to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I remember from uh, a previous measurement. So I think we got to go half inch deep here, our total depth, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, do that up and come back and have a look.